In this problem, we're told a bicyclist in the Tour de France crests a mountain pass as he moves 15 kilometers per hour. At the bottom, four kilometers farther, his speed is 75 kilometers per hour. What was his average acceleration in meters per second squared while riding down the mountain? So let's just see what we're given first. So given, so we're told that a bicyclist, he's traveling down this mountain pass and uh, he moves 15 kilometers per hour. So this is going to be our initial velocity, and we represent that by v sub 0. So v sub 0 equals 15 kilometers per hour. And so we know this because he starts at this, and then he goes to this. And so this is going to be our final velocity, which we represent by v, so 75 kilometers per hour. So he starts at this velocity, then he ends up in this velocity, but in between he travels 4 kilometers. So our change in x, which is just like our change in our distance, so how long, he, how far he travels, is going to be four kilometers so four kilometers and then what is it asking us for it's asking for the average acceleration in meters per second squared so we're going to write a equals and then question mark because we're trying to solve for it in meters per second squared so now we've got all of our givens uh, let's try and solve so we have these in kilometers per hour and notice that they're trying to find our answer in meters per second squared but luckily, we can just solve for kilometers per hour, uh, or kilometers per hour squared, and then convert it to meters per second squared. So we're just going to solve using these, and then after we get our answer, change it to meters per second squared. So if we look at our equations of which one to use, uh, we see that we have a delta x, so it's not going to be the first one. And then notice how we're not given any time. So it's not going to be uh, 1, 2, or 3, because they all contain time variables. So we're going to be using the fourth one. So let's go ahead and solve for it. So v v squared, which is going to be 75 squared, right? We're just plugging in v. 75 squared equals v squared, or v sub 0 squared, which is 15 squared plus 2 times a. And so we're solving for a. So just put the variable a times uh, delta x, which is 4. And so 2 times a times 4 is just 8a. And so let's solve for a. So if we 75 squared and then we can minus 15 squared from this side and that's going to give us if we do 75 squared 75 squared is the same thing as 5625 and then if you minus 15 squared it's going to be equal to 5400 so 5400 equals 8a if you divide by 8 that'll give you your acceleration so 5400 divided by 8 is equal to 675 and so keep in mind this is in kilometers per hour, so it's going to be kilometers per hour squared. And so there, we're trying to find it in meters per second squared, so we have to convert it. But this is going to be in kilometers per hour squared, so now let's convert it to meters per second squared. So we have 675 kilometers per hour squared. Instead of writing it as hour squared, I'm just going to write hour times hour, and you'll see why. It just makes it easier. So first, let's get rid of the kilometers. So we know that there's one kilometer, or there's 1,000 meters in one kilometer. So we can use that to get rid of the kilometer, and now we'll have meters on top. But we have to get rid of the hour. So we know that there's one hour in 60 minutes, and then there's one minute for every 60 seconds. And so you'll see that this hour cancels with this hour, this minute cancels with this minute, so we're just left with uh, 60 times 60. And so I'm going to combine those into uh, 1 over 3600. So we can just combine it to be 1 hour equals 3600 seconds. And so this hour cancels with this, right? But keep in mind this is hour squared on the bottom, and we're going to have seconds squared on the bottom. So in order to get rid of this other hour, we have to do the same thing again. So we have another 1 hour for 3600 seconds. So now this hour will cancel. This hour will cancel, and now we'll have uh, meters on top, and then second times second, which is just second squared. So you're going to take your 675, multiply by 1,000, 675,000, and then multiply by 1 over 3,600 uh, times 1 over 3,600. And if you do that, you should get 0 0.052083 and so on. I'm just going to round to this decimal place here, so 0 0.052. And then keep in mind, meters per second squared, right? So 0 0.052 meters per second squared. And so this right here is going to be your answer to this problem.